Think of Explore as the library that you use to find models to save to your library, allowing you to then customize and publish the models that you have selected. We will start off with what you see when you first log into the BioDigital Human web application. Upon login, you will be met with the home page, which contains a list of categories that will bring you directly to each corresponding section of the human library. Let's briefly go over the types of models that you can find in the human library. You will see up top that there is a section called anatomy with four tiles. Anatomy by regions, anatomy by systems, complete anatomy, and cross sections and microanatomy. These are all of your gross anatomy models or anatomy that is visible with the naked eye. Next, you will see our specialty category. These are models that are specific to different specialties, such as dermatology, neurology, orthopedics, and many more. In these sections, you will find a vast collection of anatomy, physiology, and disease models that are associated with that specialization. Simply click on one of the categories that interests you, and you'll be brought to all of the models that correspond with the category that you've selected. As always, if you want to search for a specific model, the easiest way to do so is to use the search bar. You can type in keywords associated with your model, and you'll be redirected to a list of models that include each keyword. This is a great way to quickly find exactly what you're looking for. If you ever have trouble finding a certain model, be sure to try searching using different keywords. If you want to go back to the home screen, you can always click the bio digital icon in the top left corner of the screen. Now you can either select a tile that interests you, or you can click explore in the top left of the screen. These two options will bring you to the bio digital human library. If you click Explore, you see all models listed alphabetically. Each tile shows the model name and has additional information below, such as whether the model is animated and or if it is a tour. To the left, you will see a menu that allows you to filter your results by category, type, or level of detail. Under Category, we see the same categories that were shown on the home page. We have our gross anatomy and our specialties. Selecting a category will filter the list of models we see on the right, such as the models found in the cardiology category. To access our other filters, scroll down the menu on the left until you see type and level of detail. If you are having trouble finding the model that you are looking for, or would prefer to browse a list of all the available procedure models, let's say, you can use the additional filter options to narrow your search. Under type, you can select anatomy, disease, physiology, or procedure. To apply a filter, simply click on the filter that you would like to use. Under type, you will also see the filter for the level of detail. This will narrow your results down to gross anatomy, tissue, cellular, or molecular. Here's a tip. If you select both filters and notice that you have zero results, try switching one of them back to all. For example, if I select procedure as my type filter and then also select molecular as my level of detail filter, I will see no models found. However, if I change my type filter back to all, I will see results. To the right of the search bar, you will see the number of results that are contained in the section that you have selected or the results of your search or filter. To the right of your results is the select all option. This allows you to export a list of models to a CSV. This tool can be used as an efficient way to map your content to fit your course design or share content with others that may not have access to the platform, such as a subject matter expert who may be assisting you with your project. Next, you can use sort to arrange the tiles according to relevance, recently added, or title name. These are simply additional ways to efficiently find what you were looking for. To the right of the sort feature, you will see the option to change your view from tile to list. Doing so will show you a smaller version of the thumbnail as well as a type of model, date it was added and by whom, and the options to select to add to the CSV export, edit the model in studio, or add the model to your library. I personally prefer the tile view most of the time as it gives you a larger preview of the model, but the list view can be helpful for quickly glancing through a longer list of models. Lastly, you will see the language option. To change the language, simply click the dropdown and select your language the page will automatically refresh and update the text. Now, when browsing through the models, you will see the name of the model, and if applicable, additional information about the model. For example, you may see the word tour underneath the model. 
This means that the model contains multiple chapters. A tour is essentially an interactive slideshow containing multiple 3D models. You may also see animated, which means the model contains some sort of animated or moving elements, or you could see both for an animated tour. When you hover over the model's tile with your mouse, there are a few important options. You can select, view, edit in studio, or add the model to your library. Adding models will likely be the most common action, as a model must be saved to your library before it can be published. You are able to open the model directly in studio from here to customize it. However, again, you will have to save the model to your library before it can be published. To add the model, click the plus icon in the top right corner of the tile. You can add the model to My Models, or if part of a team, to Teams Models. You will then be asked to select a collection if applicable, as well as to set the permissions. Think of Explore as a library of all the 3D models BioDigital has to offer. From here, you can browse and add any model that you like to your library, which is you or your team's personal collection of models. We are always adding new models to our library. If you would like to see new feature updates or suggest a model or a feature that you would like, you can do so by clicking the Help Center or question mark icon in the top right of the screen and submitting a content or feature request to our team. We are consistently working to improve the BioDigital human experience and we welcome your feedback. Thank you for joining me. And remember, to view other helpful tutorial articles and videos, visit our Help Center at support.biodigital.com.